Hey guys, IT Ops guy. You know, I've got a bunch of nodes that I want to add to my SolarWinds instance, and uh, there is a way to do just a whole bunch of nodes in SolarWinds all in one shot. And it's to use the network discovery here in settings. So uh, we're gonna go settings, network discovery, and I'm gonna say, well, I, I wanna start doing this, and I'm going to add an IP range. I've got a really small test network. Um, as you can see right here. And so I want to add all these devices. So um, 210 we've already added, so we don't even need to worry about that. So I'm going to be adding 211 and 212. The SolarWinds server gets added automatically um, to itself when, uh, when you install SolarWinds. So I'm just going to install or just add these two. Um, so really easy to do that. So I'm going to say... Um, my starting range is 192.168.167.2. It was 11, right? So 211 and then 212. So let's go and do that. Our end address, 192.168.167.212. You could add um, a very large range, an entire class C if you wanted to. Um, you can do the sitter blocks, you can do individual IPs, subnet, however you want to do it. You can add everything in Active Directory if you want to go that route. Um, either way, it's fine. We're just going to do it this way for now. Um, so virtualization, those are both virtual machines, but they're not virtual hosts. So I'm just going to say next. Um, I don't want to check for an agent. We're going to monitor with WMI. Um, SNMP doesn't matter. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and just remove these two things. And for Windows, I need a Windows credential. And you can see that I don't have one here. So let's go ahead and say I'm going to use SolarWinds.Service and let's add that credential to the mix. And for my monitoring settings, uh, let's go ahead and monitor stuff that responds to uh, WMI only and let's manually set it up after the fact. So let's go ahead and click next. And we're just gonna call this, uh, we'll leave it the default, that's fine. So let's go next and we're only gonna schedule this for one shot and go. And we're gonna let this run for a few minutes. Shouldn't take very long since it's only two IPs. Um, in fact, it already found those two nodes. So uh, I should be back with you pretty darn quick. All right, guys, we are back. And so we've got the results of um, our discovery. And as you can see here, um, we found two Windows 2022 servers. Um, so we're going to say next. We're going to bring over all interfaces that are or operationally up. Excuse me. You can see here there's a list of two, um, one for SQL 01 and one for Web 01. So that is good. Uh, volumes, we're going to bring over RAM, virtual memory, and fixed disk. No reason to bring over CDs. In fact, most of the time, I don't even bring over virtual RAM. It depends on my application. Since this is a lab, I'm going to take that away. Uh, applications, it found an IAS server and a SQL server. So let's go ahead and add those things. I'd like to monitor those apps. Uh, here's my review of what we're bringing in. So we're bringing in SQL 01, with, which is Windows 2022 server. We're going to bring in Microsoft SQL Server. Uh, and for this guy, Web 01, same 22 server, RAM fixed disk via WMI with IAS. And let's go ahead and choose to import those. We'll go through a really quick importation of those two devices. And you can see that they were added here gives you a little bit of info and then I can choose next to discover additional applications or I can just click finish and that's it I'm done those two devices are now within my network if I go settings manage nodes I will see them here and you can see there's SQL 01 and there's web 01 I would highly recommend you give them a description um, something to make it easy for you and your staff. But uh, that's all I got for you today, guys. Thank you.